Ashe, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am motivational speaker, certified life coach, and your spiritual advisor, Nayla Latrice. I am here to give you all your messages. So let's go ahead and tap into it, okay? Personals are available down below. This is general. The message that I got for you all is that this creative project is being financially supported, okay? It's being financially backed up okay um who whatever this is that you got going on creatively there is someone that wants to um support it all the way okay yeah it's gonna be financially funded okay is what i said is what the download is this creative project is being financially funded supported and backed up okay let me make sure i get y'all download right okay Wait till I get my money right. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. Buy a tarot deck. Some of you guys are buying your first tarot decks 101. Okay. Yeah. Oh, if you guys are a tarot reader, there could be people that, you know, have some type of envy, deceit, or hate towards you, or if somebody don't like your spirituality, it bothers them. Okay. But what's new? All right. Under the sun. All right. It's like you can prove what you're talking about. You can back up what you're talking about. Is what I is what I see. All right, yeah. Spirit says you got this. It's like wait one up a minute. Who you who you think you is talking to me like that or you know trying to come at me like that just because of what I believe or something like that? I don't know, but that could be the case for somebody. All right, but yeah, this creative project is is being financially funded. Okay. So let's see what y'all got going on here. All right. What y'all, y'all tell me in the comments what y'all got going on. But y'all don't have to as well because I know that's personal and private, you know. So, um, but your affirmation is everything I do is success, is successful. All of your work projects are successful. Why are all of my work projects successful? Why do I always exceed my financial goals when it comes to my business? Okay. Or whatever you want to say. You guys can create your own affirmations or statements, all right, that helps you, you know, get you in the mood for for um, building up your business and having the mindset of trusting and believing and knowing that uh, you were cut out and made to be an entrepreneur. Yeah, you were cut out and made for this. Whatever this is, you were made for this. You were made um, to be uh, an entrepreneur. You were created for this, whatever this project is, okay? So Spirit is bringing you um, the financial backing. Again, you got this. Yeah, you're the shot caller. Or there's a shot caller that's coming into your energy. Yeah, you guys may also exchange your barter services. Look, you're going to be able to pay off all your bills, honey. Whoever you are, whatever you're doing. This is the message that's coming through. You ain't hearing it by accident. You you found this frequency for a reason, baby. Okay? Let's see what else is here. But yeah, maybe you've been working on this for a while now. All right? Look what we got here. What that say? Hire assistance. I know it's backwards. Y'all can read. Hire assistance. You're hiring somebody. Okay? You're working with somebody. Pay attention to details. Hard work pays off. So whatever you've been doing, it's like it's been paying off. I, I taste coffee. Also, some of you guys could be allergic to milk as well. But I also taste coffee in my mouth. Okay, so some of you guys, oh, that could be late nights. Okay, maybe that's just what Spirit is saying. You, you have a lot of late nights. You guys could be really tired. You guys could be working like throughout the wee hours in the morning, like two, three, four, uh, four o'clock in the morning. Okay, or in the a.m. I don't like saying morning, you know, but in the a.m. All right, so you could be really tired, drinking Red Bulls or doing whatever you got to do to stay up or to keep you going. It's like I'm hearing uh, uh, sleep is the cousin of death, okay? I'm also hearing I'll sleep when I'm dead. So some of y'all, y'all just like to work, all right? But it's paying off here. You you calling all the shots, okay? But whatever it is that you're doing, you know, you may need some type of financial approval or some type of financial backing. This could be a loan getting approved is what I'm picking up on. You guys could be um, applying for some type of loan. This could be a business loan or a personal loan, but you're going to apply it to business, all right, because this is for a creative project. So you may be getting a personal loan, but, you know, you may be getting it to buy all the equipment that you need to start your business. 444 was on the phone I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah, gifts, presents. You have certain talents, certain gifts. Okay. You also have some type of gifts coming or some type of presence that's coming in. People are going to give you things because of what you're putting out. 
We also have manifest that ish. So yeah, you're manifesting it. Look, sign on the dotted lines. You're signing on the dotted line. Something, whatever this is, signing for this gift is giving me somebody is sending you something to your house. Like let's say if it was a brand new car coming up to your house and then you got a sign on the dotted line. Some of you guys could be purchasing a car from home, you know, like from Carvana um, or any of those other type of places like that, online car places where they deliver it to you and you could be signing it. That's what I'm seeing in my head here. Okay, yeah, y'all got people jealous. There's people that I'm telling you, jealousy and envy is around y'all because of what you're doing creatively or because of the way your life is going here. You're tapped into your creative eye, to your creative bag, okay? You're, you're free, you're independent, okay? And these other people, they're trapped, you know? They may, you know, um, have to go to a job. Even if you go to a job, you know that that's, you know, just to build up some funds or some money or you're doing it to so you can have money to invest or it's a purpose for it and then you out, you know, that type of thing. is just to get some extra cash, but you're not tied to it. You get what I'm saying? You're an entrepreneur. Whatever you're doing, clearly you're doing something creative because you clicked onto this video because your creative project is being funded. Oh, I just saw a studio late night. So y'all will be in the office late night working, whatever it is. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, it could have been slow. You could have been trying to get funding for over 10 years for something. Like actively, you know, putting in for grants and other things like that nature. It's giving me... um. Nonprofit, you guys could be starting a nonprofit business here as well, is what I'm picking up on. Okay, or you're being guided to start a nonprofit, is what I see. Yeah, y'all going viral for whatever this is that y'all doing here. This creative project is gonna, you know, if this is music, whatever this song is, whenever you finish it, okay, it's gonna go viral. Whatever, you know, this nonprofit you open it, it's gonna go viral. Whatever you putting up on social media is gonna go viral. And maybe that maybe whatever you're doing right now is going to get seen. And then that is what's going to bring in um, supporters and the money to be able to um, fund some type of project. However, it's getting funded. You're going to have the money. Ooh. Get your money, honey. It came out with this. It was all with this. You know, y'all can rewind and, and see. Get your money, honey. And look, they want to have your baby. This woman want to have your baby, whoever this man is. It's a man watching me. There's a woman who wants to have your baby. Or either, if you're a woman watching me, there's a man that wants to plant his seed inside of you so you can carry his child. Okay? Ooh, the way I just did my lips, it reminded me of my BFF um, that I grew up with. Okay, her name is Felicia. Wow. So your name could be Felicia as well, but it just kind of reminded me of her. You could be thinking about an old best friend or something like that. That's why I that she just came up like that. That was my girl. That was my baby right there. That was my home girl. Let me tell you. Okay? Like, she had my back. I had hers, you know? Be talking all that shit, you know? It's wild how life turns out. They want to have your baby, though, but somebody want to have your baby. Yeah. I'm really getting her in my head. I see the pictures of her in my head, like certain pictures and stuff of her. I need to see, check to see. You know, it's why I need to check to make sure she's still here and she's still good, you know. Um, the reason I say that because the way the pictures are coming in my head, maybe you need to check on somebody or, you know, um, you could be thinking about somebody or you need to reach out to somebody maybe. I don't know what that is for me. I'm going to have to think about it, but it's coming out right now, and I know it's safe for me to say that as well. But I also said I need to check to make sure she's good, you know, check back home um, because I know I went on Facebook. This was a, a while ago um, or a few months ago, and come to find out, somebody that I grew up with, it's like, dang, they ain't here no more, this this girl, it's like, wow, she had a really, from what it looked like, you know, she was really, you know, living her life, like, she was, she was really living a good life, you know, she was very, you know, she was married, she had her, her, her daughters, her kids, you know, um, she was a, uh, and she was, um, a teacher, you know, and she was also in administration at the at, at down at um the the actual administration offices as well. Um, her whole family was actually like her sister was actually works in administration at the school, um, not at the school, but actually at the administration office, the the main, you know, uh, uh, corporate, I guess, or district. That's what I'm saying, the district office, you know, for all the schools in the area, you know, they were big kind of big, big ish, you know, um, but I know she also had a battle with, um, uh, uh, with her health. Okay. As well, you know, so, um, for years, you know, so, um, shout out to anybody that has had to battle cancer as well, because that's something that took her life, um, that she, she lost that battle, unfortunately. Um, but she's still around, but my point is, I don't know why my, my, my best friend, 
friend had came into my head from when I was young and the way the picture showed up. It was like, mm, is she still here? Is she good? You know, I ain't speaking that, but it's just the way it popped up, you know. But anyways, off of that energy. But that I said that for a reason. So it was for somebody to hear me say all that. Anyways, back to all of this. Yeah, you out here getting your money. OK, like I said, this creative project is being um, is being noticed or whatever you're doing creatively is being noticed. OK, yeah. So keep doing, keep being in your creative bag or whatever you're doing. Let's get some more here. What's the message here for this creative project being funded? Some of you guys could be an event planner, okay? You help people plan events. And then look, envy, deceit, and hate. I'm telling y'all, y'all got people that's, that's feeling some type of way about y'all. That's because you out here winning. I'm going to take this one. It's, you know, sticking up. You got the part. Ooh, somebody wants you... This relationship that y'all gonna be in, because this person that wanna have your baby and then sex, 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 y'all better be careful. If y'all don't want no babies, y'all better strap it up. 11 11. That's facts. You better protect yourself, honey. With the pullout method, whatever y'all out here doing, okay? I ain't got to worry about none of that. My tubes is tied. Some of y'all may have your tubes tied as well. But yeah, it's like somebody wants you, they wanna have sex with you, they want you to have their baby. They said, it's you. You got the part. Yeah. They see you out here, you know, doing your thing as well. Some of you guys could be planning an event, uh, planning uh, planning any type of event, but I'm getting a baby shower. <coughs> Somebody is going to end up pregnant. I know that came up um, as well on my channel um, the other day on one of the other reads. But yeah, somebody getting pregnant, that's what came up. So that energy is around. All right, but yeah, you also could be planning a, a birthday party. Yeah, you just chilling. You out here, you know, just living your life. Let's see what else comes out for this creative project or whatever you're doing as an entrepreneur. Boss, you this boss that got this abundance. We saw this earlier. Look, I'm paying for any and everything you want. This is the universe saying, hey, I'm showering you with abundance of uh, of opportunities, of money, of being in the right place at the right time, you know, just getting free things, freebies, you know, just all just good, just good favor and fortune over your life. This is what the universe is saying. That's what the abundance is. You're favored. But also this person that's in your energy, they want to pay for any and everything. They say, touch your purse for what? No. Yeah, real estate. This person could be a real estate agent. You could be a real estate agent. But like I said, boss, you a boss. Whoever you are, whatever you do, you a boss. That's why somebody is supporting you. That's why this, this project is being financially funded because people see that you're a boss. This person uh, sees that you're a boss, whoever wants to invest in you. This could be a real estate investor as well. This could be a um, your person. This could also actually be your person. Okay, they want to invest in you. I know I did a read um, uh, that was talking about that for the divine feminine. So that could be this too. Who, however you're getting this project funded, this project is getting funded. For my men out there, it could be anything, okay? You could be having a real estate project that needs to be funded as well. Some of you guys want to become real estate agents or some of you guys want to invest in real estate, okay? You're going to be able to get the money to, this is, that's, the real estate is your creative project for some of you all, okay? Or this business project, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So it's going to get funded. You'll have the money to get in on the deal or whatever this is. Yeah, vacation time. You have more than enough money to be able to go on vacation and do what you want. Yeah, you win. Something like that. Yeah, happy sunny day. Let's get one or two more. Oh, new contracts. Told you, you're getting that real estate contract. You're getting that real estate contract with this new contract, okay? Some of you guys could be purchasing a home as well. Somebody could be buying a home for y'all with this I'm paying for anything you want in real estate. Or either this is the universe purchasing you a home. So, yeah, the universe is buying you a home. Yeah, that's what I see. Or either this person is buying you a home. Or either, again, spirit is giving you the money for the down payment or whatever. Because then, again, we got this new contract for this real estate. And I'm paying for anything you want. I mean, that's a house. It's real estate. Or it's land. If it ain't a house, it's land. Ooh. 
I just bought a new apartment. I'ma leave the floors wet. Yeah, you could be moving in with this person as well. This could be an actual person that wants you to move in with them as well. And they, you guys are purchasing a home together. Is what I see. Yeah. Also, you guys may be combining children, okay? Or just children are involved here as well. But also, yesterday's price is not today's price. I just did a chosen reading that said this exact thing right here. Yesterday's price is not today's price. The price went up. But yeah, like I said, y'all getting that house or that new apartment, a loft, okay? Whatever it is. I think I was just talking about the loft in this reading. Yeah, or maybe if it wasn't, it was in another reading. I was talking about a, a loft and being in Miami. I don't know. The, all the reads are kind of combining together. But, you know, I'm saying it in this one as well. So, yeah, I just bought a new apartment. So, like I said, yeah, increase your efforts. You may need to increase your efforts in some area as well. Okay, maybe when it comes to your family or your children, or that's what's about to happen. You, you guys are about to be able to do more with your family. Okay, so that increase your efforts, meaning it's just going to get busier for your family. Bitch better have my money. Yeah. Somebody better have your money for this new for this new apartment, for this new house. I don't know if something went down. Somebody took your deposit. I don't know. But bitch better have my money. Rihanna energy. Like, don't go off on the people. You about to go off on the people because somebody, you know, somebody got to owe you some money so you can get this house or this apartment or something like that. I don't know what that is, but the price went up. I don't work for free. Got to get paid so I can rock the bling, okay? You got some new ideas that's going to bring in some money here, okay? Yeah, look, I need your holy presence. Somebody needs your presence. Somebody needs you to work on this creative project as well. You guys can be working with other people on this creative project. It could be something with, um, with the restaurant. I'm also tasting Chinese food here as well. Yeah. Let's see. If you, if you want to be a chef, then um, you're going to get everything you need, all the money you need to start this business. Look, I spoil me. You got to have so much money where you can spoil yourself. Yeah, because you put in that work, that manual work. Construction, again, real estate. You guys could be literally purchasing a new home, a new construction home, or either you guys are in real estate or want to get in on this um, this real estate deal, this invest in this property and this construction or something. You guys could also have a construction business or something like that as well. You guys could also maybe want to start your own plumbing business or your own um, natural um, natural. Uh, what am I trying to say? Like with with this farming, where um, where you I guess where you're a farmer, where maybe you sell um, natural foods, okay, plants and and all of that, you know, where you may sell um, lettuce and tomatoes and onions and things of that nature, okay. Maybe not actual animals, but maybe you know, like uh, like I said, like um, the farming part of it. Photo shoot, art gallery, people see you, okay. Yeah, somebody says, I'm fighting for this connection. Somebody wants to fight for a connection with you. Maybe somebody feels like you're leaving them behind, but they want to fight for this connection, okay? Let's see about this um, creative project being financially funded. All right, let's talk some more about that. Great spirit, tell us more. This is go actually talk about the money part, okay? But you the one calling the shots. Are you about to get this new house, this new apartment, okay? Or either you, you are the... Um, you're over, look, you're over leadership. You're over this real estate deal, okay, or something like that. Yeah, you working in silence. You moving in silence. You're buying this house in silence. You're moving in silence. Transporter, you're moving in silence. You're buying this new car in silence. This card is a good indicator that things will start moving for you rather quickly. Things are moving for you very quickly. You speak it and it happens, but you're moving in silence. Don't nobody know. You're in this leadership position. You just showing, you just popping out and showing people that hey, I'm the leader. I'm the boss. I'm the shot caller. You are the shot caller. You are the leader. First card out from this deck and from this deck. You are the leader. You're the shot caller. You tell not that you tell people what to do, but people they listen to you. They know that you have the right advice. You're stepping into a role as a leader. You're ready. I want to say yes. You're ready. Yeah, peacemaker, life purpose. You know how to be very uh, um, diplomatic, okay, tactful. Okay, look, windfall, there's a shift and this windfall is here, okay? Whatever it is, a windfall of people, windfall of good things. It may not just necessarily be a windfall of money. It's just a, a windfall of a lot of good things happening for you. Like I said, right place, right time. Drop that affirmation down below. 
Why am I always in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing, saying the right thing? Okay? I am open to receiving. Why am I so thankful and grateful for all of the many miracles and blessings that are here in my life or that are on its way to me? Why do I prosper and thrive in everything that I do? Why does everything I touch turn to gold? Why do I love myself? Why do I feel so amazing? Why do I only attract great people in my life? People with good intentions in my life. Luck. Yeah, you got this luck here. L could be significant. Yeah, because we got leadership, luck, and loss. It's giving me start your LLC. You're going to have enough money to actually start your business and start your LLC. Yeah, but you have some type of luck or this is that good favor is what I'm going to say. Yeah, you experienced a lot of loss here, but loss means shift. Something is ending and something is beginning. Embrace newness is what it says after some type of loss. Anything you do now will be very prosperous for you. Didn't I just get done saying that affirmation and that luck came out? If you believe that you're lucky, you'll create an abundant mindset. If you believe everything is always working out for you, then it is. And then you have that abundant mindset, okay? Your perspective is, is shifting your growth and stumping on your and stumping on your uh your perspective is stifling your growth and stumping on your luck. It's very small. So it's kind of like make sure that you're not self-sabotaging when it comes to, you know, you getting your money or opportunities working out for you. If you getting customers, you getting clients, whatever this case is. Okay, trust and believe that you're gonna get this funding that is all gonna work out. Yeah, unlocking pops out. What was locked can now be open. Just because it was locked yesterday doesn't mean it's not gonna be unlocked tomorrow. The locksmith is here and they're unlocking the door. Maybe that could be literal for y'all. Y'all could have been locked out of something. It's going to get open. You're going to get it. I was talking about that the other day. Kind of like it was giving me safe energy. You know, like when you put your things in the safe and you have the combination, you're going to get it open or something that you think you can't get into. You're going to get all the information. You're going to get into it and get all the information. You have opened the floodgates of abundance without limitations. We'll just talk about abundance over here. Blocks are there to tell you that you're steering off track. So if you if something had blocked you, if you feel like things weren't moving or things were locked, it was to get your attention. But things are flowing now. Things are unlocked here. Again, now it's like you can move forward because you're doing something to bring in this money. However it's coming in. However it's going to be uh, uh, financially funded or however it's going to be supported. This could be you showing up. As, if it's not financially uh, funded, this could just be you having a social media platform and people are showing up and supporting you, you know, um, and liking your content. Okay. Maybe there's not, maybe you don't sell anything. Okay. But you have a social media platform. People are supporting you and your views are going up and people are commenting and interacting and engaging with you. You get what I'm saying? It's like you're getting notice on your TikTok. Ooh, as I said, and look, we got caution and spirituality. People may take caution around you because they, they see that you're spiritual or something, like I said earlier. Okay, yeah, Mother Gaia, you believe in, you know, like Mother Gaia or spirituality or how, whatever you believe, you know. But it's kind of like um, people may, you know, be kind of cautious about you or something like that or kind of pay attention to see if you're really real type of energy because it's like they haven't seen somebody like you before. Or they're, you know, they, they have a stereotypical attitude about, you know, people like you, whatever you do spiritually. Let's say, like, use me as an example. I'm a tarot reader. A lot of people may be real skeptical about some tarot readers. You get what I'm saying? And being in the community, I can kind of see why sometimes. Like, well, dang, you know. We already got a heart. Like, don't make it harder. You know, but I get it. Okay. But anyways, you know, so people may kind of look at you like, uh, I don't believe in that. And then with that on top of religion, you give it all of that. There could be many reasons why people, you know, kind of are cautious around you when it comes to your spirituality and what you believe. But don't let that knock you off your track as well. Whoever you are, it's what you do. Okay. You guys could be Reiki practitioners. You guys could, you know, tap into magic, the magic that's within you, your belief systems and what you believe about God, religion, church, all of that could be you know completely different and possibly the opposite of what others believe but it's nothing negative you know who you are again you're spiritual not religious but again every some people may have a problem with that but also it says use caution when making financial decisions when it comes to um when it comes to something use money magical spells to increase wealth and prosperity so yeah 
it's, I'm also getting a, this caution and, and you've been doing something to increase your, your like money magic or whatever. It's like caution. Be careful what you ask for because you just might get it 2444. Also, people may be cautious of how you get your money because you are spiritual. People may say, well, how, how are they really making those financial decisions that they making? Like, shouldn't they, you know, how, how they got money? Shouldn't they be, you know, not looking how they looking? They shouldn't be looking like they got money because they're spiritual or, you know, because that, they do spiritual work and are they really getting money? Like, so people can be cautious about how you, you are getting your money because you're spiritual. You know, if they like, okay, like is spirituality really working for them? You know, are they really getting paid? Are they really getting money? How they, how you getting your money? That could be what other people thinking about too. You know, something like that. But also just be, you know, just also be cautious of how you spend. But I also see you could be doing, you know, if funds are a little low for you. But I also see you guys could be doing some type of uh, money magic as well to increase your funds. If your funds, if you have, if you had to be cautious about your funds and you, it, it, you ain't been able to spend how you've been wanting to. You did some type of magic, money magic, and it's working. You're, you're seeing the fruits of that. Or either you're going to or, uh, see the fruits of that. Okay. Or either spirit is telling you to do some type of magic. Uh, money magic that and that's only to like really it's kind of like a an, an an intense prayer it's like you're really focused in on everything that you're doing to really say hey i'm serious about this that's all that is you know but people can take it all how they want to i mean of course it's deeper than that and it's a lot it's different things involved but that's the gist of what that is okay well we talk about doing the magic and so forth it's really just setting a longer intention with your actions and really focusing in on what you're doing for that amount of time whether you know it takes you 30 minutes an hour or however 15 minutes whatever you're doing you're doing something quick whatever you know it's just you putting that time that energy and that effort to say yeah boom i'm putting this extra this cherry on top to make sure my prayers are really going to be answered i'm really putting in that work just like you can't go to work one time and expect to get a full week to check bitch you got to show up for all five days if you're a traditional workplace you get what i'm saying so you put, you got to, and if you want more money, you got to put in that extra, that overtime. So it's kind of like that same thing, but that's to put it in some simple terms, but people want to turn it into all this woo woo, other negative, dark type of shit, but people can you do that as well. But anyways, I, I had to say that for somebody because somebody's listening and that helped them to feel better possibly about who they are and what they do as well. But yeah, people may see, and, and that ties into what you do, the magic you do. People may be cautious of you or, you know, you may say that, but you know who you are and what you do. You get what I'm saying? So don't let that bother you. Okay. But also that could be something that you're doing, you know, to help you with your money and your finances. You're putting that oomph on it. Okay. Lighting your candles, setting your petitions and all of that, doing moon, uh, moon magic, moon work and all of that. Okay. Drinking your moon water, your sun water. I don't talk about that stuff a lot, but I I I, I do, but I don't. Okay, but I'm definitely um doing some 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 background work. You know, y'all see it coming soon. That's gonna talk more about all of that type of stuff because that's what it's really about. Following the doing your magic. That's what it, I, I I'm gonna be talking to y'all more about. Really tapping into your magic and making it normal. And really clearing up the stigmas around it, okay? When it comes, that's why people are so cautious about people that are spiritual here. Yeah, but you could also be doing some type of spiritual project, okay? People may not want to invest in you. They may be like, what you doing spiritually? I know you're over there doing something spiritually and I see it working. So somebody may want to work with you or fund something that this is like a private investor or angel investor. But they, angel investor, talk about spirituality. But they may just want to know, have a more understanding about who you are, or what you do or something. But somebody may see you. It's not like you're going to look for this stuff either. Some For some of you all, people may approach you or either you're just going to see money in your account from however you getting your money i don't know what y'all doing if y'all doing again y'all doing your spiritual work y'all doing you know um your business is actually taking off and working okay so th this could literally be your business is taking off and your sales are increasing and because of that it's bringing in money to financially fund what you got going on to keep it going so it's almost like it's self-funded. You could be the one funding it because you're putting your energy out there. And if you sell something, people are going to be purchasing it. And then you're going to get money, to, enough money in to be able to pay your bills, to be able to, you know, um, fund, you know, your actual business and to keep purchasing more inventory, to keep selling what you're selling or doing what you're doing or to be able to live off of it or take care of yourself because you're an entrepreneur. Yeah, you got some type of partnership coming in. Maybe with a writer. You guys could be a writer here as well. 
Yeah, let's get, um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here, okay? Yeah. Laborer, yeah, you've been putting in that work, and you still may have more work to put in because now you're getting an increase, okay? So you got to keep up with what you're doing. But I, it's given me, you know, um, the wheel has been greased. Maybe it was stuck before, but now it's greased, so the train can get moving again or something like that. So it's like you're choo choo, you're moving, you're on the you're on the right track. It's like you're moving forward, okay? Um, and however this, however you're being supported, you're being funded. However this is coming through, you, you're not gonna have to worry about you. Um, about whatever this creative project is. You're going to have the money for inventory, all of that, okay? All right, so I say these are your messages. I'm going to leave it here. You guys can book your personals down below in the description bar. You guys can give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, okay? You guys also um, can subscribe to the channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome. Also, do not forget to do your journal work, your um, meditation work, your breath work, okay? Align your chakras, keep yourself grounded, okay? Um, whatever it is, is that you have to do your mirror work, your affirmations, your ask affirmations, okay? Booking your coaching, whatever you got to do to stay on track, okay? I am available to help you as well if you guys need some type of spiritual guidance along the way, whether that's actual coaching or whether that is a read, uh, you guys can book that down below in the description bar. And I will see y'all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.